Hi folks, nice simple video for you here, how to hit a punch shot. This will come in handy when it's windy. I'm based here in the UK and very often it's blowing a gale. It's very handy to be able to hit that low knuckle ball under the wind, control your ball flight and basically just keep the ball out of the air so it's not affected by the elements. I'm going to show you an extreme example which will also help when you're in the trees and there's some low branches to get out of that many golfers just sort of chip out sideways and sometimes there's a gap in the trees and you can actually play a really low punch shot and advance it 150 yards and sometimes you might even pull a sevy shot off and knock it under the trees and end up knocking it on the green and maybe even making a birdie that'd be nice wouldn't it okay so like i said it's simple what we're doing here um, this is actually a stance for me for a seven iron i'm using consistency king's fundamental fixer here to illustrate this so that's a ball position at zero slap bang in the middle of my stance now look at the angle of that tee peg there so that would be roughly the launch angle if i was to strike it there all we're going to do is put the ball position four and a half inches back in the stance now as you can see i just let my hands hang naturally and look at that hopefully you can see the tee peg is now coming at a lower angle so i'm here in the middle of my stance 45 degrees or so and what's that I mean I'm just guessing here but maybe 25 degrees from here if I was to hit the golf ball I would hit that low punch shot now what you can do with your fundamental fixer play around with this down the driving range you can have a lot of fun with this really trying to hit it low I'm gonna go nine inches back in the stance and just watch this tee peg here folks I mean if you're able to strike it might want to watch our video on the d plane but if you're able to strike it nine inches back in the stance there's the nine inch marker you can just see what's that 10 or 15 degrees roughly how low that ball will come off the face so i suppose what i'm trying to say is the ball position really affects the launch angle of the golf ball